Welcome everyone to another episode of Ads Fishing. Today we've decided to escape the pandemic and come out to the northern suburb for a quick flick. Alright, easy set up here today. Just got a two and a half inch Z-Man curly tail grub. We'll give that a flick and see how we go. Alright, so not too much going on at the moment, not getting many hits, so um, I think we'll try to burly up a bit. Just grab some of these. Just sprinkle a little bit of this out there. Hopefully we'll bring him in, bring him in a bit. Right, I think another thing that we can try, because um, we were casting out towards the channel there, might not be a lot of hiding places for the fish, so just look in here, if you look closely, there's a bit of a weed patch. So we'll um, cast into there. Give that a crack, see if there's anything hiding in there. Yep, here we go. Yep, I'm on. Yep. Looks like a gingery. Yep, big gingery. Ah. That is easily my PB gingery. Have a look at that. Have a look at her. What a beauty. This is what I want. I'd love to take this guy home for a feed. I think I'm going to release her because she's a big breeder and I don't really want to spread the coronavirus any further. So we're going to let her go. There she goes. Beauty. All right, so things are going to be quiet now. I um, haven't had a touch in a while. So I'm just going to change things up to bait. Here we've got a schmacko. This is premium bait. There's a lot of dogs around these parts. So we'll give that a crack see how we go. Good day for it, eh? Nice light southeasterly breeze. Not a lot of boats out on the tarmac. Got this whole area to ourselves. It's beautiful. Yep, here we go. Yep, we're on. I think it's another gingery. Yeah. And we've got another big gingery. How hectic is that? But um, this guy is actually, he's a different subspecies of ginger. The first one we got was a cat ginger. This one's a dog ginger. If you have a look closely, he's, um, the way you can tell, he's, he's got floppy ears and he's got the snout. And these ones tend to taste a bit better as well. And if you have a look, he's actually got a tag on him, so that's interesting. He's been caught before, so we're going to have to take his details. We'll measure him up. Yeah. So we'll take his details, send it off to fisheries, and then, and then we'll let him go. Alright guys, so moral of the story is let's be smart about things. I know it's not exactly illegal to go fishing now, but the advice is to not go, so I'm not going to go. I think that's the common sense thing to do. The fish aren't going anywhere. Let's look after ourselves, look after each other. Stay hectic, use lots of antiseptic, and hopefully when this all washes over, I'll see you all out there. Hopefully it's all done by the time the bloody snapper season comes around. You! Fucking hectic, 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 hectic.